One person's being evaluated in the hospital after leading police on a chase throughout Huntsville. Here you can see the U-Haul driving through the neighborhood as officers followed her. Way 31's Alex Torres Perez joins us live now. Alex, a lot of people in the area shocked to see this chase unfold right before their eyes. Dan Marie, it's been the talk of this neighborhood. Some people were terrified because they didn't know what was happening, while others were just amazed there was a police chase happening in their backyard. Now, I want you to take a look at this. These white markings on the ground, they're not chalk. They're actually markings made by the U-Haul during the police chase. The U-Haul went up with police officers following. Now, I was able to follow that trail of marks and see the twists and turns the driver made. The driver swerved in parts of the road and even drove over some curbs in the area. Taylor Reed was coming back home from work when he saw the police chase. He says the U-Haul had all four tires blown out and it was riding on the rims, throwing sparks everywhere. He says he's grateful nobody got hurt. However, Huntsville police say the driver may have been going through a mental health crisis. Reed says he hopes that driver gets the help they need. You know, everybody's going through something um, and, you know, we each have a different level of mental instability. And so, you know, she could have hurt herself um, and I'm sure she didn't want to hurt other people. And so a lot of times people with mental health um, issues, you know, think they might be endangering themselves. But really, there could have been kids out. Somebody's dog could have been out and got run over. She could have ran in through a house, could have hurt some police officers by hitting their cars. So I think it's important to get help early on, you know, before you get to this situation. Now, I reached out to Huntsville Police to find out the condition of that driver and whether they'll face any charges. However, I have not heard back at this time. Reporting live in Huntsville, Alex Torres-Perez, Way 31 News.